welcome to Revelations with Nina Hilton. Nina is, of course, our clairvoyant extraordinaire who will be taking your calls all the way through the show. Now, if you'd like to know what lies ahead for you in the future, why not pick up the phone and give us a call. 0891 treble 3630 is the number you need to call. It'll cost you 39 pence cheap rate and 49 all other times. And, of course, all your names and numbers are chosen at random. So, OK, you might not get through on this show, but don't worry about it. Leave your name and number. If your luck's in, we'll give you a call back sometime in the future. Well, let's meet the lady herself, Nina Hilton. Nina, welcome to the show. Great to have you here again. Now, Nina, just in case anybody has no idea what a clairvoyant can do and how you can actually help people day to day, what is it that you do and how do you work on this program? The ability of clairvoyancy is to be able to clear see. That means I see pictures in my mind about the person concerned. So if people would like to ring in and give me their name and perhaps if they want to ask a question, do so, then I'll be able to look into the past, uh, look at the present and put it in the future. So it's the ability to see things for the people that they can't actually see themselves. Right, and so you can then foretell what's going to happen in the future and by looking into the past get their confidence up that that's that is right. something that has happened in the past and what about when people have a feeling about something something's going to happen to them mm -hmm. do you feel that they sometimes have a bit of clairvoyancy themselves if they things come true yeah i mean i've had people who said to me that they get good reactions like they may get butterflies in the stomach and then something will normally happen um sometimes i feel that i do that myself i get good feelings and nine times out of ten it's normally something bad that's going to happen not something good so yeah it's definitely clairvoyant ability it's the body and the mind trying to work together to say you know something is about to occur um, and sometimes it can be for, for the good sometimes it can be for bad do, do you it think people depends. should act on gut feelings yes I think it's, it's basically an intuition and I feel that intuition is a, a, a form of clairvoyancy so if you feel something deep enough and you think this is going to happen or you feel that you should make a certain decision you should go with your own intuition I think you should trust yourself because nine times out of ten you'll be right right now what happens if, if you predict that something is going to happen to someone in the future mm -hmm. can you actually change fate you can to a certain degree. I mean, for example, if I was to say to you now, well, next week you're going to go to, I don't know, let's say, for example, Leeds, and this is going to happen and that's going to happen. If you don't go to Leeds, it won't. Right. So it's a case of if you choose not to go ahead with what I tell you to do, then obviously it won't happen. Um, some people make plans for the future, uh, for example, going on holiday, etc., and at the last minute it's stopped for a reason. Uh, obviously, that means that their circumstances are going to be completely different um, if they don't go as if they did. So, so yeah. you believe everything actually happens for a reason, yes. for a good reason, usually? Definitely. Okay, oh, yeah, brilliant. Definitely. Okay, well, let's get on to the phone lines because they're all waiting to speak to you, Nina, as okay. usual. There's, in fact, Jean on the line. Jean, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, Jean. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you very much. Jolly good. Where are you calling from? Um, London. From London. And what can we help you with? Is there anything you want to know about your life? What's um, going to be happening? No, I'd like a general reading if I could play it. Yeah, okay. Anything that comes up then. Nina. Right, okay. Jean, to be honest, I don't feel any negative vibrations at all at this moment in time. I do feel um, that there's positive things that are going to happen for you. Um, the thing is that I do look back approximately six years ago when I feel at that particular time there was a lot of home changes around you. And I feel at that particular time you were a bit uptight about circumstances circumstances uh, but in my opinion I think you're on the right track now and I think you're going in the right direction can we just backtrack here Jean was it about six years yes. ago when things started to change yes it was really what yes. kind of things were changing for you um, I had a split from a marriage and a re uh, <laughs> a new relationship started right so all about six years mm. ago did you move house as well no, I didn't. Right, okay, Nina. The, the thing is, is that where uh, six years ago is concerned, it seems to be a major turning point. Um, you as an individual changed then uh, about your thoughts and, your, and your, the way that you thought about individuals mainly. Um, you seem to be going definitely in the right direction now, but I feel there's a lot more changes to come, especially around August. September and that's going to be a very good time for you and um, to be perfectly honest I do feel two completely different natures uh, with the men that you've been with I associate the first person as being somebody that was unpredictable um, and maybe it was very very difficult to find out what that person was thinking is very this, close is this the person Jean split up from yes did, Jean did you find that it was quite unpredictable yes you are mm. right what, what's the other nature of the other he's yeah. very light-hearted he's he makes you laugh he brings out the, the childlike personality in you oh. and I feel that person gave you a new lease of life yeah. in other words made you say that you were a different person and that you did have a life of your own are you still with him Jean yes, you are mm -hmm. and is that right does he kind of make you laugh he and... does. oh imagine. brilliant <laughs> oh, so it's all worked out then That's oh, good. Yeah. he's gonna have a lot of changes in his work though this man uh, the one that you're with now there's going to be a lot of changes work related it will be for the better uh, but it seems to me he's had two uh, job changes in the past 
uh, where he thought maybe he would have been in a position where he wouldn't be working. Now it's different. I feel that he's definitely going to enhance his career very much so. Uh -huh. And you're going to have extra income coming in because that's going to be one of the major factors around August and September is going to be finances. Uh -huh. But it will sort itself out and I feel that you'll be in a position to do things that you couldn't do before. Does your definitely partner right work person. at the moment? Yes, he does. And and is, he, is he looking for a... So he's self-employed. Self right, so hopefully the, the business is going to boom. And yeah. Is this what you're meaning, Nina? Well, yes, because I think he's tried two things in the past. Now, whether it was working for the people or not, I'm unsure, but he tried two different types of things uh -huh. uh, that didn't work out in his favour, and now he's definitely decided this is what I want to do. There's another change to come, but it's going to be extra income. It's not going to be um, a downward-trended uh, influence, I'm guessing. It's going to be something which will be very lucrative for both of you, and he's going to be one of the most important issues in the family setup because I do feel he's got commitments to three other people as well, so it's not as if he's just thinking of you, he's thinking of everybody. Um, I would say that you actually push him in the right direction as well. You give him inspiration. Uh, but you're definitely with the right man now, and I feel that you'll stay with him. I don't think there'll be any split up with that relationship. All right, that's got to be good news, hasn't it, Jean? <laughs> Excellent. OK, well, good luck with everything. It seems like you've finally settled and, and found the man of your dreams, and also uh -huh. his work's going to go very well for him as well, according to Nina. Nina's obviously always right. <laughs> anyway, she has been on this show. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for your call. Good luck with yeah. everything in the future. Thanks. Thanks very much. OK, moving on now to Julie. Julie, are you there? Hi, I'm, yeah. Hello, Julie. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Jolly good. Where are you calling from? Bolton. Bolton. And what would you like to know from Nina? Well, two things really. One, I'm in the middle of a divorce. Right. And I wonder if I'll meet anybody else. Uh huh. And the other one is, because of the situation, I need to move house. And I have been offered somewhere else, and I don't know whether to move or not. Right, okay. So, so the, the divorce is going ahead, and yeah. the, the family home is now, it depends on who's going to get that, obviously. So you want to move, though? I don't really want to move for the children's sake, but oh, I do right. for my own. Right, mm. okay. Well, let's see what's going to happen, Nina. Um, to be honest, I think it's the second time round uh, that you've gone through this. I think there's been talk of divorce between you two before. Um, I think the, the unhappiness that you've got around you has been going on for approximately eight years. I don't think it's been imminent. I don't think it's been recently. Is that right, Julie? Well, it's I think, yeah, we've not got on for a long while, but I've been separated now for 18 months. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, obviously, it's going to go ahead, but I do feel that the, the, the problem started a long, long time ago. Um, where you're concerned as a person, I do feel that you're quite at a low ebb at the moment. You're feeling quite down in the dumps, and you seem to have a lot of spiritual activity around you, especially from one female. Uh, this is somebody who died quite some time ago. She seems to be around you and, and trying to give you inspiration for the future, because although you're saying, oh, yes, we're going through this divorce, and yes, I want to move somewhere new, at the bottom of your heart and your gut feeling and your gut reactions tell me that you seem to be quite upset about the situation even though you want it to happen so it's not as if you're going through this and thinking well yes at least I'm free again you're very wary about having this freedom you're very un unsure about what the future holds and not just because you're going to be on your own it's because I do feel that you've got other people to consider as well now the way I look at it is, is that you've got your hands full with one of the children I think you're going to have a bad reaction from one of them um, you may have noticed that already in the last 12 months and you're going to have to be very strong-willed with one of your children over yeah. the next three or four months. How, how are they taking it, Julie? Oh, my little boy's taking it rather badly. Right, so he, he'll be the one. Now, Nina, you're talking about spiritual activity. Julie, have you noticed any within your home, any spiritual activity? Not really, no. no. Who, who are you getting through here? Well, you see, the thing is, is that what I do feel in, in your home especially is that a lot of things which you may put things in a specific place and it may not be there when you go to get it. Now, you may put it down to the children moving things around, but I don't personally think that's correct. I think you have got activity in that home. It's not as strong as it will be, um, because I feel once you make that move, move to a different property, that's when it will really um, become intensified. Um, the, the problem is, I think you're going to move to a smaller property. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you don't like. Yeah. Um, and you feel that you're going to be crowded because the rooms are very small. Yeah. Um, you've seen it, obviously. Have, yeah. And um, that's why you, you've got a problem with it, because you feel it's a bit like um, living in a, in, in a, a cardboard box. Yeah. So you're not going to really need it. Julie's definitely going to move, and yeah. you can see this property, you can see it's smaller. Julie, is it smaller? Yeah, it's smaller, and if I go, I've got to go within the next week or two. Really? Yeah, so... Right. It's, 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 it's very much like, you, you see it as being, you feel like it's a box rather than a house. Um, in other words, you, you won't be happy there. I think the walls are very thin there too. And I think there's going to be a lot of noisy neighbours. Now, I don't think that you will actually take that offer. 
I think that you will decide that you don't want to go to that place. Um, I, if you do, then I feel that you will move very quickly afterwards. So it means you'll have two moves very quickly within eight months, nine months. Right. So if I were you, I'd stand your ground on that one because I do think it's the wrong place for you to go. You think I should stay here for now? Yes, I think you should stay put because, you see, you're trying to run away from memories, really. You're trying to run away and start afresh. You think a new home, a new life, and that's quite correct. But at this moment in time, it's not right for you because I can see where it is that you're going and it's just not the right place for you. You feel it. Remember, trust your gut feelings, yeah. trust, trust your reaction. Can you see, um, in, in the end of the day, that Julie is going to move, though? Eventually? Yes, she will move, but she's going to be moving in with another person, so she's going to have a relationship. Ah. Um, and the person that she's going to be connected to is somebody who has something to do with long-distance lorry driving. Ah. So it's a person who I feel will give you a lot of, of I don't know, of support, etc. Mm. Um, and I feel this person has, has done this in the past. Okay, great. Well, Julie, that's probably the last thing you wanted to hear, that you're going to have another relationship straight away. No, well, she... no, no. I, I want another relationship. Oh, you really? want one? Yeah, oh, brilliant. She, she on me off for a long time. Okay, uh -huh. great. That's all we've got time for. Thanks for your call. Good luck with everything. I hope the move goes well when it does actually happen. Could you just tell me how long it'll be before I met Stay on until after the break. We'll come back to you then. See you after the break. Welcome back to Revelations with Nina. Nina is, of course, taking your calls all the way through the programme. If you'd like to give her a call, why not pick up your phone and dial 0891 treble 3630. The call will cost you 39 pence cheap rate and 49 all other time. Now, if your luck's in, you'll get through, hopefully. But if not, leave your name and number and we may give you a call back. But just before the break, we're actually speaking to Julie. Julie had one final question. Julie, are you there? Yeah. Hello, Julie. You want to know when you were, when you were moving? No, when I'll be meeting somebody else. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Well, I don't think it's uh, that far away. I do feel if you look towards uh, between now and six months' time, I think you would have met the person, you would be in a relationship with them. But I think you're going to actually make it move very quickly, and I think that you'll decide to settle with him and move in and live together, perhaps in the house that he has. Mm. You'd be very happy with him. I wouldn't worry. All right. All right thank that, you. That, that'll be worth waiting for, won't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Have you got anyone in mind? Uh, no. No. Okay. Remember the long, long distance it's a lorry driver. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be stopping off at every garage every down the country. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for your call. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on now to Karen. Karen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Karen. How Hello. are you doing? You all right? Hi, thank you. Good. Yeah. Where are you calling from? Uh, Manchester. Manchester. And what would you like to know? Have you got any question for Nina? <laughs> uh, well, just general, really, but I would like to know if there's anything new or, you know, on a career footing oh, or right. what direction okay. I can take. Fine. I'm well, a bit I've... lost. There. Right, I predict you've got children. <laughs> so I can hear them in the background. <laughs> Nina, what do you predict on career footing? T to be honest, I think you've got a, a very bubbly personality. Although you're coming across um, quite placid, really, I do feel that you've got a very, very strong personality. And you've always liked to mix with people in the past. So I feel that you need to have crowds around you rather than be stuck in one situation in a job. Yeah. I think to put you behind four walls and lock, you know, lock the door would be the wrong thing for you. Yeah. So you need to mix with individuals. Now, you have got an intelligent mind. So I think you ought to consider studying uh, for something which will give you a long-term career. Yeah. Now, in the past, I think you've mauled with this and you've decided that, yes, it's something that you'd like to do. But you're unsure about what direction to go in. Now, I do feel that you are very caring in one respect, but you're also very forthright. So you say what you think. So to be in a job where you're caring for individuals, but perhaps advising them as well, would be the right capacity, very similar to a social worker, something like that, or in, the, in a profession where you're advising someone in some capacity. Karen, That's what I think you should do. Have you ever considered studying? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, you have? So it's yeah, been on your mind? Yeah, now right on the head. Really? Yeah, I have considered, you know, the social work, but what puts me off is the length of time yeah. I would be studying. How long do you have to study yes. for? Well, to be a proper social worker, it's, it's a long time. Yeah, you know. so it's taking yeah. that time out. I have out. considered counselling, mm -hmm. you know. Right, so, so Nina, you have hit the yeah. nail right on the head there. But you yeah. think that, that Karen should actually definitely go for it? I think you should definitely go for it. I mean, the thing is, you can study, but you can also have work experience, hands-on um, experience. Yeah. Um, I mean, a friend of mine did this, and it took her three years to do it. But she actually put her head down, went, there, went to college, and passed everything. Yeah. And now she's a social worker, she's doing very well for herself. Yeah. Now, I know that you've got the ability to do this, and I know that you could go into that capacity. So I think you've got to forget about time scales. How long have you wasted already? I think, you know, if you'd have done it six years ago when you originally thought of it, you'd have been okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you will do it. You've just got to make a decision now. And yeah. September's the time to go into college, isn't it? Yeah. So you need to consider it now. All right, yeah. brilliant. Karen, there you go. The answer you've been looking for. Are you going to go for it? Yeah, well, I will be doing, but it's just, um, 
I'm, I'm expecting a baby, so I've got that to... <laughs> Another <laughs> one. <laughs> That's strange, yeah. actually. Be hard yeah. work. Because with, my friend was pregnant when she went through her college. She's actually pregnant herself, and she got through it all, had the baby and went oh, back. So yeah. a baby's not going to stop you. Mm. That's um, right, yeah. You go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. go yeah. for it, Karen. Thanks very much indeed okay. for your call. Good luck with it. Thank I hope you. you do go for it. Okay, moving on now to Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? No, I am. Hi. Hello, Jonathan. How are you doing? I'm all right, and you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Where are you calling from? Reading. Reading. And yeah. what would you like to know? Um, just a general reading, really, um, and career and finance. Right. Have you got a job at the moment? No, I'm unemployed. Okay, so you're hoping that something's going to come up for you. Let's have a look. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I do feel a few negative vibes around you, but I think uh, you should know all about this. I don't think yeah. it's something that I'm telling you that you've got no idea about. The negative vibrations have been around you for 12 months, yeah. and I feel that you've been hitting your head up against a brick wall in every aspect of your life, not just career. Uh, things seem to have fallen apart at the seams about 12 months ago, and at this moment in time, I think you're trying to rebuild uh, your confidence first. Yeah. Um, you've got very, very low self-esteem, um, and I do feel uh, the influence of a female who had a lot to do with this. Um, it's as if she's been in your environment in the past, may also be there now, but it's as if you never had the backing and the support that you needed at that time. Can you relate to this, Jonathan? Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to think, actually. Well, put it this way, I think you had a very strong influence from a mother or, or sister, and I know for a fact at that particular time, 12 months ago, you should really have opened up and discussed things with somebody in the family, because they would have given you 100% support. Yeah. But as a mixed-up individual, you've never discussed how you feel as a person inside. You've always kept it all to yourself and you've never been open yeah. and I would say you're not that old now are you in your 20s no I'm 19 actually yeah well, okay we well, near enough wasn't yeah bad. Mm, yeah not well, bad you're, you're 19 <laughs> well I think that you have been a very closed book from about the age of 11 and you've kept everything within and to be honest you, you need to open up to somebody a female who's close to you regardless of who it is there is somebody around you at this moment in time who you can trust 100 percent open up to and discuss things with. On a career footing, I think you ought to go into something, in my opinion, that taxes your brain, because you have got a lot of mental power there, but you haven't used it in the way that you should. So I think you ought to go into some form of capacity where you're dealing with people, using your brain, but also something quite creative. What would so, you like to do? I haven't got a clue. I mean, I've been into hairdressing, but it didn't really work out. Right, so Nina's saying creative, creative. but that didn't work out for you. Yeah. Right, it wasn't, wasn't the right thing. To be honest, have you ever thought about doing massage? No. Well, why don't you try an aromatherapy course or something like that and use that in a profession because I do feel that you'd be very good at that. Um, you seem to have empathy with people and you be, you're very, very good at actually uh, not, not calming people but making them feel relaxed. Yeah. And that's something I think you ought to go into. You're going to find that emotionally you have, you're going to have a big problem over the next 12 months. It's not going to be easy for you. Um, but on a career footing, if you stay with a creative flair, and dealing with people, you'll be fine. Anything to do with actually offering a service to a person will be ideal for you. Mm. Hairdressing would have been the right thing because it is very mm. Would you ever go back to it, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely. Yeah, because Nina thinks that's yeah, probably the right line of work that you should do. Oh, I mean, right. The thing is, Helen, is I went to a hairdresser's once um, in Paul in Dorset, and the chap that was there was actually washing my hair. He actually did a massage course, and it was amazing the difference between having your hair done by him and someone else. Mm. So, probably uh -huh. you will think about doing Go it. Go for it. Jonathan, thanks very much indeed for your call. Okay, Good luck with everything. I hope thanks you do find the career you want. Okay, okay Bye. moving on now to James. James, are you there? Hi, yeah. Hello, James. How are you doing? Hello. You all right? Yeah, thank you. Good. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from London. From London. And what can we help you with? Anything you want to find out about your future? Um, money situation and see if I, I'll be travelling this year and also to know who my spirit guide is. Ah, right, okay. So, so obviously you need the money to go off travelling, yeah. don't you? Okay, um, let's have a look. And to be honest, I feel a lot of secrets around you. Um, you you over the last i would say seven years maybe maybe nine years yeah i've been very very secretive about things mm. um i feel it's because you don't want to tell people exactly what's going on around you and i wouldn't say you're secretive about yourself you're secretive about what you think your mind works overtime 24 hours a day yeah. and you can't switch off so it would be right for you to be in a profession where you are moving around because at least it's something new to tax your brain with i do think however that you've been emotionally charged for the last four years 
and I feel that your emotions have been very, very much on edge. Um, you've gone through a stage where you felt like running away completely from circumstances. That's right. And I think that's through being let down, um, very much on an emotional level. Now is the time and a turning point for you. And for me, I feel August is highlighted for you. So it's right round the corner, the changes that are going to occur. Well, what changes can you see? I mean, obviously James is talking about travel. Mm. And again, as Nina says, some, maybe this is something you're running away. Maybe, yeah. is that right, James, perhaps? You don't really know what to do, no, so you want I'm to just, travel. I'm hoping to actually go to Australia mm. later on this year. And I'm right. wondering if that's going to work, if that is going to happen. Right, okay. Yes, I mean, I do feel that you will go, but what I'm trying to say to you is, is that the, the reason why this was put into your brain in the first place uh -huh. was because you wanted to have a change from what's been going on around you. Yeah. And you think a new country, a new life. And that's what's firmly planted in your head. That's quite correct. But you see, you're going to be mixing in a predominantly male environment when you go there. Uh -huh. And you've got to be careful because you've made lots of mistakes in the past already. Yeah. And you've got to be careful about making them again in the future. Yeah. You've got to protect number one. And I think you're a bit like a free spirit, a bit like an eagle. You tend to just want to, you know, t to do things on the spur of the moment. Uh -huh. Although you have to plan for Australia, you, are, you act on instant spontaneity a hell of a lot and make the wrong decisions. So you need to be very astute uh -huh. when you do go to Australia. Is right? he going to go to Australia, though? Because obviously it's not cheap to get out there once you get out you can do a bit of work yeah but. I think I think when he goes out there he's not going out on his own he's going to go to somebody there yeah um, right. so it's not it's not as if he's going on his own who, who are you planning there. on going with and um, there's a friend over there that's invited me over and ah. we're hoping that I'm gonna go there right yeah I know, I know it's a friendship but the thing is it goes a little bit more deeper than that yeah that person understands you 100% and it's a lot deeper than what I can go into air on air with uh, what I will say to you is, is that yes at least you're not going there on your own at yeah. least you're going there with somebody who you know I think it will succeed but just be careful that's all I'm saying to you because you you do make the wrong choices yeah and in my opinion if I can know things about you which you know are true then you've got to listen to the advice yeah. I give you so sort of keep do, keep sorry do, do you know what my money situation is going to be like in the near future well yeah I mean you'll be okay on a financial footing provided you put your mind on earning money whereas at the moment your mind isn't on that your mind yeah. is on something completely different so you need to get okay. that sorted okay okay yeah. James that's all we've got time for sorry okay. about that but good I, luck I if you go to, traveling could I speak to Nina privately uh, stay on the line we'll see what we can sort out for you okay. thanks very much James Thank you. okay well that's it for Revelations with Nina we'll see you again soon please do tune in Thank you.